Hello friends, welcome back to Dainty Gift School of Decor and Decoupage. In today's video I want to show you how I decorated this bird feeder that I found at my local charity shop and a few of you that follow me on other social media said that you have one of these so maybe it will give you some ideas in case if you wanted to redecorate yours. First thing that I did is take it apart and give it a good wipe down. Once clean, I started decorating. I was not sure if I wanted to decoupage the roof or not at that point, so I painted it white just in case. I ended up deciding to decoupage the main part of the feeder in the end, so I picked out a napkin that I liked, measured the size of the strips I needed for each side and cut them out. Once I had six strips in the size I wanted, I started decoupaging. Since the shape of this bird feeder did not allow me to use my beloved water application method, I had to simply apply the napkin with a brush and hope for the best. I ended up with quite a few creases and the strip did not go on perfectly straight, but that's okay. That was the main reason why I chose this napkin in the first place, the pattern masks the creases and uneven parts. So to apply the napkin I simply put decoupage glue onto the surface, put napkin on, dab it with a damp cloth to stretch it out, then apply another coat of glue. As you can see I worked in small sections to try and minimize creasing. I also did not paint or do anything to the parts that I decoupaged, they were already white so it was fine. I repeat this process on all six sides and leave it to dry. While waiting for decoupaged part to dry, I move on to painting. I chose these three colours to start with as I wanted to keep the birdhouse looking light and pastel, which is not something I do very often. I painted each level of shingles in a different colour and I had to apply three coats to get good coverage. Next I took this light green colour and used it to paint the beams. I chose to alternate the colours on the top of the roof to make it look a little bit more interesting. By the time I was finished with the roof, decoupage was dry so I took a piece of sandpaper and removed the excess napkin inside of the windows and also cleaned up some of the creases and edges. After having a look at the decoupage part and the roof together, I decided I did not like the blue that I had, so I took another shade of blue plus some white, mixed them together and painted this new colour over the already blue part and the base and the top of the bird feeder.
Then I went back to the light green and applied it over the fencing and the inside bit. Here's what it looked like once I was done painting. Before I went ahead with aging, I applied one coat of heavy duty wood varnish by Polyvine to protect the paint from soaking in too much antiquing medium. Any other varnish will do for this as long as it's water based. In general, if you're decorating a birdhouse, make sure to only use non-toxic and water based materials. Once varnish is dry, I move on to aging. I used water-based bitumen, but any other antiquing medium will do, as long as it's water-based. So I cover my birdhouse in this medium, as always I'm working in small sections, then using a cloth wipe away the excess. Because I applied varnish before doing this step to it, it was very easy to control the amount of dirt I was adding. It wiped away easily, only sticking inside any dents, gaps and corners, making it a very natural, yet delicate aged look. I left it to dry overnight, allowing bitumen to cure so it doesn't slip away when I go to varnish it again. Next I took some white and yellow, mixed them together and using a sponge I dabbed on a little bit of paint onto the ridges of the decoupage bits to bring back some of the highlights. After I also added some highlights to most edges that I could reach. <laughs> For the last bit of decor, I took the little plastic windows, cleaned them well and using a stencil, stencil brush and leftover paint, I applied a patterned motif over the inserts. I used this little cutting mat to help me get the pattern nice and straight. To seal it, I used the same heavy duty wood varnish by Polyvine. I applied three coats on top. This varnish is safe for animals so that's what I used. It is not specifically made for outdoors, although other people have said it works well for outdoors too. I will just have to let you know how it goes as it's now living on my balcony. <laughs> and there you guys go. This is the finished result. I'm happy with the way that it turned out. I don't do pastel colors very often, so it was a nice change for me. For my question of the day, I want to ask you, what is your favorite bird? Let me know in the comments. I love getting to know you guys. I loved reading all of your comments about summer nights on my latest video. My favorite birds are blue tits. They're just so, so beautiful. And growing up, they were always around. I always saw them on our balcony. Every winter they would come to eat. So every time I see one now, they bring back happy memories for me. One last thing that I wanted to stress on, please, if you're going to decorate a birdhouse or really anything else that involves pets, Make sure that you're only using water-based products and animal-safe varnishes. 
It's not worth it if you can't make it safe for them to use it. You can always make that item into something decorative instead. Other than that, as always, links for everything are down in the description below. Lots of love from my house to yours and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Thank you.